What is up guys, George right here. Today I'm gonna show you how to install Libby mobile device on a Mac running the latest version of uh, OS X, which is OS X El Capitan. So um, this is very important in case you want to port your um, iCloud Bypass custom made farm or project from Windows to a Mac on OS X and um, you need Libby mobile device for that because on Windows you actually use Libby mobile device and iDevice restore application in order to push it onto the phone. And um, on OS X this is not something you can download as on Windows, at least not as fast and as uh, easy as on Windows where you simply download the binaries. Uh, in this case we're going to install a homebrew and we're going to actually install Libby mobile device with all its components, iDevice info, iDevice backup, iDevice backup 2 and so on. For that it's going to install libcurl and a lot of other uh, dialibs which are like DLLs on Windows and probably some texts which are like drivers on Windows and um, let's just get to work, it's enough for talking. So what you need to do first is to open a terminal application. Well, if you don't have terminal right here, you navigate to Launchpad and in the search box write Terminal and you will find the application, uh, strike its head and you will open the terminal. And this is how it looks for me, for you it should be, uh, I don't know, any other color, it can be white, it can be whatever. You can set up those colors, by the way. I'm gonna make it bigger for you to see everything I do and I'm gonna copy up this thing which is in the description by the way because it's very long to write it manually and uh, I will lose it enough time by simply writing it. Uh, it will actually call a Ruby which is a uh, bloody part of Xcode and the curl part will actually fetch everything from this GitHub address which is a homebrew system and I'm gonna just hit the enter key. You hit the enter key, things get installed, you have to wait a couple of seconds until you see your name again, like this thing, sorry, like this thing right here, okay? So just wait for it to get installed, there we go, and now you simply write brew install Liby mobile device. Hit enter key and wait for Xcode to do its job. And in my case, Libby Mobile Device 1.2.0 is already installed, but in your case, it will start downloading things up. Okay, and this is what you need to do. Now you, you click, you click, you hit the uh, exit key or you write exit on the terminal and click enter. Okay, process completed. And I'm gonna close it up. And you quit right here and now you start in another session. You probably uh, want to ask me and where I can find now those binaries. Well, you don't find them actually. It's not like on Windows where you get to the program and open it in CMD. Now you just need to open terminal. I'm gonna connect the device. It's an iPhone 4 I use for testings. Uh, my iPhone 5 bypassed is dead for the moment its battery is dead and um, okay I'm in terminal now I can I can trigger Libby mobile device components manually by simply writing their name into this um, this terminal so I'm gonna write uh, for example iDevice info this application is a Libby mobile component uh, whoops I'm not connected to the lockdown I I must accept connection to the phone. I'm gonna click trust on the phone and now it should work. My phone wasn't trusted with this computer. Okay, now I'm gonna try again iDevice info. There we go. We can find everything about the phone including its keys in FC's iPhone and the version, the iBoot and everything you find on a regular Windows CMD window running iDevice info application for Windows. Or for example, I can trigger probably iDevice iDev iDevice backup. And of course, uh, I can use backup 
and I'm gonna probably write USR. Backup uh, directory is USR. This tool is only compatible. Oh, sorry. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna write backup two because uh, iDevice backup binary is only compatible with um, iOS three and below, and iDevice backup two is compatible with anything else. Then I'm gonna write backup again and USR. And it will start backing up my phone in full backup mode. And it will probably start to download. Uh, on my screen of the phone, I can see this, that spinning well near the uh, wireless uh, signal strength. And it means that a backup is undergoing. So, um, yes, uh, it means that the part of Liby Mobile, this parts of Liby Mobile device are working, as you can see right here. It's in a full backup mode and the backup is going on. Okay, uh, I've got a uh, segmentation fault, probably something went wrong on the phone. Yes, it asks me to trust things again, I'm not going to do so. And probably the problem is that uh, the phone is just broken. And uh, another thing I can use probably is, uh, I don't know, my device, the device, Pair, yes, I can use it, uh, Pair, yep, please accept the trust dialog on your screen of the device, then attempt to pair again, trust, trying again, after I click it, I tapped trust, success, paired it with device, and this is the unique device ID, UDID. So um, what I wanted to, for you to see is that the Libby mobile components are working uh, now on OS 6. So uh, thanks for watching, I really hope this tutorial helped you. The command line I pasted from this uh, text is in the description in a um, paste bin link for you to, to get it better. And if you have further questions, don't forget to ask them in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you up in the next video. Goodbye.